friends, welcome to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm sharing with you a craft that you may or may not have ever heard of and it's called needle felting. This video today is not to share with you all the tips and tricks needle felting. I'm here to share with you a super easy beginner craft that's easy to stop and start, easily portable, where you can throw it in a little tote bag and take it to the doctor's office or take it camping and also super inexpensive. You know, I hear friends all the time say, I'm not a crafty person. Well, I'm here to tell you, here's a craft that no matter what skill level you are, you can do this. Now, an Amazon seller reached out. They have a huge craft store on Amazon, and they wanted me to showcase one of their needle felting kits. If you're a beginner, this is certainly the way to start this craft because it comes with everything you need, and it really gives you an idea of whether or not it's something you would like to do. Needle felting has been around for years. Um, it goes from making little bitty embellishments all the way up to wall hangings, and you can just become a needle felting artist thought I would take you to my craft table, unbox the kit, show you what all comes in it, and then I'm going to create one of the projects in the kit. Now, I'm an absolute beginner, and I've only done needle felting one time in my life. I did a little uh, felt ball garland, kind of like this. You can't get any more simple than that, but I want to show you how I can even sculpt one of these little projects in the kit. All right, welcome to my craft table. This is the needle felting kit. I'm going to open it up here and show you what all it comes with. We start off with a beautifully colored instruction booklet. This kit will create nine little miniature succulents and each succulent comes with a color photo step-by-step -step explanation and each succulent also comes with a QR code if you uh, want to watch a video. These would be so, so cute in a tiered tray or just, you know, if you had some kind of little uh, display to put them on. I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted to do because they're all incredibly cute. Um, I thought I would just pick the mushrooms. I thought they were so cute and I saw a bunch of mushrooms at Hobby Lobby yesterday and I thought I would try this. So. In the kit comes uh, two packages of needles. One is 40 gauge, one is 38 gauge. Um, I'm just going to follow the instructions because on certain things you use the bigger needle and certain parts you use the smaller needle. Now I know they give you extra needles because the needles do dull over time, but I'm talking hours and hours of use before a needle goes dull. They give you like six needles and so this would be the perfect thing for you to do a craft night with. Everyone would have their own needle. Now also in the package they have these little wooden handles. This is to uh, make your needle felting a little more comfortable on your hand. You don't have to do this. It's kind of like crochet needles that have uh, handles on them, but this is optional. So if you had a craft night, um, a couple people could use the handles if they wanted to. And this is also optional. You don't have to have these to do it, but for a beginner, it's a good idea to have some little leather fingers is what I call them, or little finger protectors. You could probably buy some inexpensive gloves and cut the fingers off if you you needed several sets of these. That's one way to get a few more sets. Now, as you can see, they give you all the colors you need. Like I said, this kit makes nine projects. You've got to have all the colors. Your two main colors are going to be for the little pots. It also comes with a, a, a pretty good size felting pad. It's larger than a bar of soap. And I've noticed that there's different qualities of kits. This is considered one of their premium kits because this has an actual felt pad. Cheap kits come with like plastic styrofoam. Once I get my little pot made, I will stop there and tell you how long it took me. And then and I'll show you after each initial step. So I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way and then show you what I'm going to start with. And then just a quick little how to do it according to the directions. And we'll see what I come up with. Okay, let me just show you. I was able to put my needle in the little handle. Like I said, that is strictly optional. If you look at other needle felting videos, they sometimes use a handle and some don't. It says that to pull off a approximate amount. Now, I'm not sure what approximate is, so what I did is I unraveled the brown wool, and I'm going to kind of divide it into nine sections just so that I guess how big it needs to be. About as big as your hand, something like that. Step by step, it tells me to roll 
roll it up. Now, what I mean by easy is what I mean by easy. You put it on this felting pad and all you're doing is poking it. These needles have like little barbs on it and you're compacting. Now here's where, like I said, the leather fingers are helpful. I'm left-handed. As you get better at it, you learn how to hold it certain ways. Keep working this until I get the shape of a little pot. This is something you could just do right in your lap, but you know, of course, I'm sitting here at a, at a table, but you will find where it works best for you. So I'm gonna just keep poking this until I get it about the size of a ping pong ball is what I'm picturing it to be about the size of, and then I'll work on flattening out one side to be where the planting part is. So this is all you do, is you just take the barbed needle and you're compacting the felt into the shape you want. It can't get any more easier than this. Now this is where I've gotten after about 15 minutes. The more I poke it, I think the smoother the little pot will be. Okay, I would say a good 30 minutes uh, to finish the little pot. I'm not sure if it could get any smoother than that. I mean, it doesn't look as smooth as the picture, but it's smooth enough and it, and it does have a little pot shape. So I'm just gonna move on to the next step. I did watch the video on this one to show me how to kind of twist it and poke it at the same time. So I encourage you to always check out the video that goes along with each succulent. So I'm going to put this little decorative line and little dots on the pot. And then after that is when I start putting some little soil in the top of the pot. Okay, I would say officially my flower pot is done. All right, my next step is to says to take some brown, pull it apart a little bit, and then I'm going to felt it into the center of my little pot. So I'll probably put my little gloves back on for this and just poke it down in there until it all connects. And that'll be my dark brown soil. Right, so, so far I have just followed it step by step. A little green down at the bottom. And then I rolled up a few little balls of the color and just put it in there. And it said to deep felt it just to connect it. And that gave some like little green buds right there. And then it goes on to where I make a couple mushroom stems. And so I need to probably felt those a little more just to get them a little tighter and a little more sturdy. And then I'm gonna make a cream colored button shape and then cover it in red. You know, it's not anything hard. You just have to read the directions and do exactly what it says. And it really does come together. All right, I've got one of my mushrooms attached. I'm gonna put the dots on my little mushroom, attach that one and show you my finished project. All right, friends, it's been about an hour and a half because I did a lot of stopping and starting and filming. But let me just show you my finished little miniature mushroom. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen here to show you what the finished product looks like in the in the instruction booklet. But I tell you, it's pretty close and I'm pretty impressed with my first a real felting project. Can't tell you how perfect this would be for a craft night or an older teenager or tween. So I hope you will give this kit a try just to see if it's something you're interested in. The link is down below. It's on sale and it has an Amazon coupon. And with them being an Amazon seller, you know it's a legit purchase. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll try something that maybe you've never tried before. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.